Each year, hundreds of thousands of managed Hobans depend on our hospitals in their times of greatest need. By bringing three of those institutions together, the Tri-Hospital Lottery helps support St. Boniface Hospital, Health Sciences Center, and Children's Hospital HSC. To tell us more about the initiative, we've reached President and CEO at Health Sciences Center Foundation, Jonathan Lyon. Hello, Jonathan. Good morning. Well, I, I want to begin by asking you about why it's important for the HSC Foundation to be part of the Tri-Hospital Lottery. Well, you know, Manitobans, uh, we all collaborate in, uh, in times of need and, and when it's not times of need. And we feel that it's important to work with uh, other uh, St. Boniface Hospital and Children's Hospital. We all, uh, frankly, were the largest centers in Manitoba. We're the backbone of the healthcare in the province. And we thought it was an important initiative to collaborate uh, Manitobans uh, uh, to, to support healthcare in Manitoba. And so we've run this uh, tri-hospital lottery for a number of years, and we're really pleased to offer it again to Manitobans as a chance to uh, support healthcare, win some great prizes during this incredibly difficult time for all of us with our global pandemic. Well, as you mentioned, I mean, of course, this year's tri-hospital lottery happening in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has seen caregivers, frontline workers, and, and healthcare heroes going above and beyond in a, in a profession that is already beyond demanding. C can you speak a little bit more to the work being done by the staff at, at HSC? Yeah, there's been an incredible amount of work in preparing uh, for the uh, first wave of COVID. And, you know, I think we should be really proud of our healthcare professionals and the leadership. You know, Manitoba, when you look at what's going on in the United States right now, for instance, here we are, um, you know, second week of July, and it's it's a really bad situation in the States. And in Manitoba, you know, again, we sit here today, we haven't had a COVID case in, in over a week. Uh, we have a handful of cases. There's literally no community spread. And that's a testament to all Manitobans uh, taking the direction of our healthcare leadership to ensure that we do the right thing, social distancing, washing our hands, wearing face masks, those sorts of things. So we've had a very good, uh, uh, a good response to it. But before all of that, before we got to July the uh, 9th or 10th, it's, it's been a lot of work from frontline people to prepare for that because you know, we didn't know what it was going to be. Mm -hmm. You don't know, you know, in early March when this hit. So there was a ton of effort. So um, to prepare, to ensure that the PPE was in place, that the standards are in place so that when patients did arrive with COVID, that they were cared for properly. And the frontline doctors and nurses and allied health professionals at HSC worked around the clock through the first wave of COVID to uh, ensure that the system was ready in our time of need. And thankfully, it didn't you know, hit to the level it's hit in other areas, but we're not done with this. We're not through this, and we're still gonna re be required to make significant investments we support it through a COVID-19 fund, and we are going to continue to support healthcare and healthcare workers and patients at Manitoba's hospital, the HSC. You mentioned the COVID-19 fund. Um, I'm just thinking to past uh, tri-hospital lottery uh, proceeds and going to support other initiatives at HSC, uh, like some of the innovations taking place. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about some of those innovations and how uh, tri-hospital lottery support has gone towards them? Yeah, there's no question. When we look at projects at the Health Science Center through our foundation board, which is uh, led by Tina Jones and, and uh, driven by community members, um, we look, we put ourselves in a patient's shoes. Um, you know, when, when you're sick, you want to get, you know, ultimately you want to get diagnosed quickly, treated quickly, so that hopefully you can return back to your loved ones if you have to be hospitalized or if you're able to be cared for at home. You just want to get well sooner. And so we're able to make investments with lottery proceeds and donor dollars to support uh, infrastructure development. So we've redone a bunch of clinics on both thoracics, which is esophageal and lung cancer. We've redone the plastic clinic, or we're in the process of redoing that. And all these projects that we do, we're working on a urology project right now, $8.2 million urology project, that is going to move the dial forward so that if you have a problem with bladder cancer or kidney stones or a prostate issue, that as opposed to having a months long waiting uh, wait ahead of you to get treated or diagnosed, that you can come in, get diagnosed, get treated and sent home to your community, whether it's in rural Manitoba or Northern Manitoba or Winnipeg in a timely fashion. So we look at making strategic investments that help move the dial forward for timely patient care. Ultimately, that's what it's all about for us on the clinical side and we also fund number of research projects uh, every year. 
So if Managed Opens want to support the initiative, uh, if they want to support the lottery, uh, they can visit tryhospitaldream.com to order tickets. Uh, tickets going very quickly. You can also visit select London Drugs or Shoppers Drug Mart locations. Uh, every year, Jonathan, I feel like the prizes get bigger and bigger, over $2.5 million in prizes this year. Yeah, we've got incredible prizes. Our 50-50 is, again, approaching a million dollars. Tickets are really going, uh, selling very uh, well this year. So I'd encourage everyone Take part, buy your tickets before midnight tonight and the, and the bonus uh, dream deadline where you have a chance to win a Mercedes or a Toyota Tacoma, which are valued at $67,000 or up to $67,000 or $55,000 cash. And then you're also entered to win the grand prize options and the 50-50 if you buy the 50-50 add-on. So there's, again, to your point, a lot of great prizing. 50-50 number is just going to continue to go up as we uh, work to hopefully sell out this lottery. And we'd encourage Manitobans to get in while the tickets are available and the ticket packages are available. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for taking the time this morning to talk with us at Classic 107. Thank you very much. Great to be with you and your viewers.